Yo, what's up guys? My name is Clock and welcome to this beginner newbie tutorial guide, whatever you call it, para sa mga taong walang alam sa League of Legends but are now so hyped up and interested for League of Legends Wild Rift. However, Wild Rift doesn't come out until June 6 pa and it's also for alpha testers lang. So not a lot of people will try out the game right away. So hihintay muna kayo sa mga hindi napalaan ng uh, uh, alpha test uh, access you guys have to wait for the open beta or the close beta. But for now, while we're waiting for the actual release, I might as well show you guys the bare basics, the standard or gold standard ng ginagawa sa League of Legends. Okay, ito lang yung bare basics. I'm not gonna teach you guys like super advanced mechanics, mga pro plays, kasi obviously hindi ako pro. Uh, mga what to do during a clash or uh, kailang kayo magiging aggressive. No, none of that shit. I'm gonna teach you guys just the bare basics para pag nag-try na kayo ng League of Legends Wild Rift, hindi kayo sasabihan ng bobo, hindi kayo sasabihan na bumalik na kayo dun sa dating laro nyo, or kung ano-ano pa mga trash talks, okay? So consider this as some kind of uh, beginner or newbie survival guide. Now, I do have plans on making a more detailed uh, tutorial once the game comes out in June 6, so abangan nyo na lang yun. But for now, homework to. Homework to para sa mga taong walang alpha test, Homework to sa mga taong gusto na mag-advance research or sa mga gustong maglaro ng League PC or whatever. And uh, because this is more aimed for those newbies, alam na sa mga ML players natin, magkatagalog ako. Yay! Tagalog glo ko! Yeah. So wag kayong mag-alala, League PC mechanics is almost the same as Wild Drift mechanics, okay? Based sa mga napag-usapan namin ng developers, may mga konting adjustments lang, may mga konting inalis, but pretty much the goals, objectives are the same. So ano bang i-expect nyo sa video na to? So I'll go through uh, the map intro, alright? Para makita nyo kung saan yung mga objectives, uh, ano bang ginagawa ng Nexus, yung towers, yung ultimate goal ng laro. I'll also go for items, uh, maybe not much with the items, yeah, siguro mga general idea lang kung anong items ang uh, kailangan yung buwin. Uh, depende sa role nyo. And also, laning. Very important. Laning phase, kung saan kayo magli-lane. Uh, ano ba yung baron lane, ano ba yung dragon lane and all that. Uh, also, when to recall, mga ganong mechanics. Last hitting, uh, warding, yung honey fruit. Ano ba ba? Uh, other objectives like the dragon, the rift herald, yung baron. And um, yung champions, kung anong pipiliin nyo, ano bang mas babagay sa'yo, depende sa playstyle nyo and all that. And many more, runes, spells, ganun. So before we start, ano bang credibility ko? I am currently Diamond 3 sa season na to. I used to be Diamond 2. I think umabot on Diamond 1 at some point, pero nag-decay na ako. Actually, nag-decay na tong Diamond 3 na to. Eh. I haven't played League for a couple of months now. Kasi naglalaro na lang ako ng League of Frontera and other stuff. But again, mechanics-wise, ganun pa rin yung League of Legends. Wala masyado nagbago. Okay, so let's do this. So for this video, gagamitin natin yung... Uh, practice tool ng League PC. You guys can use this, by the way. Pag nag-download kayo ng League, uh, gusto nyo mag-practice sa mga champions na hindi kayo familiar with, para sa Wild Rift and all that, mag-practice tool kayo. It really helps, guys. Para chill lang tayo. Anyways, I'm a one-trick team. Umabot ako ng uh, Diamond kaka mo lang. Maniwala kayo. And also, we'll be using Smite and... Uh, ano kaya? Yeah, Flash should be fine. Yeah, Flash should be fine. Smite. Para mapakita ko sa inyo kung anong ginagawa ng jungle smite. Very important. Okay, here we go. So, welcome to Summoner's Rift, everybody. There are three lane standard MOBA style maps. Okay, so ano bang pinagkaiba ng League PC uh, map sa Wild Rift? Okay, first things first. Etong dalawang tower na to, wala yan. Wala tong dalawa sa Wild Rift. Itong malaking ice cream na to, itong nexus na to, ito na yung uh, magre-replace sa tower. Umaatake na siya. What does that entail? Ibig sabihin, wala na masyado magre-rat doto or wala na mag-expect kayo masyado sa, <laughs> sa nexus. Kasi ang nangyayari, pag endgame, pag, na, uh, pag na-push na ng kalaban nyo all the way here dito, super endgame na yan. Next, wala na rin to. Wala to, wala yan. Itong mga inhibitors na yan, wala yung mga inhibitors na yan. Okay? Wala yan sa Wild Drift. Next, intro sa mga lanes. So, dito sa League PC, we call it top, mid, and bottom. Pero, sa Wild Drift, iba na yung tawag sa kanya. 
uh, it's gonna be labeled depending kung asan yung baron or kung asan yung dragon sa map nyo. Alright? Ito yung baron pit. Okay? Ito yung Nasho, uh, yung Roshan or yung lord uh, ng League of Legends. As dito naman yung dragon. So, depende kung saan kang team. Uh, dito sa blue, kung blue team ka, yung dragon lane nandito. Makikita nyo naman sa lapag may parang logo ng dragon dyan sa Wild Rift. Tapos kung nasa blue team kayo, yung baron nandito, may baron logo rin dito. So, para hindi kayo malito. Kasi ang mangyayari pag Wild Rift, uh, for the sake of convenience para sa mga mobile players or sa mga mobile devices, pag red team ka, ang makikita nyo is parang ganito rin. Okay? Pero mirrored. Let's say, imagine nyo red team to, red to. Ang baron lane, magiging bottom lane. Tapos yung dragon lane, magiging baron lane or magiging top lane. Okay? Gets nyo? Gets nyo naman siguro. Basta mirrored siya. Okay? Same with the buffs. Ganun din. Okay? Awesome. So, Wild Rift, tatlo pa rin ang towers. One, two, three. Kada lane. And ultimately, ang gusto mo mangyari is to push those towers, push those lanes all the way to the nexus. Alright? Ang pinaka-end goal nyo, masira nyo yung nexus ng kalaban nyo as soon as as you can. Alright? Yung iba kasi nagpapatagal, nagpapasikat, tapos yun, pag nakambak, iiyak. Lala lang ako yun. Daming, dami kong memories na ganun. <laughs> so, yup, that's pretty much it for the map intro. Mamaya, papakita ko sa inyo yung mga major objectives, tulad ng Baron, yung Rift Herald, pati yung Dragons, and when to get them. Next up is items. Now, medyo tricky yung items kasi it really depends sa trip mo eh. Depende sa playstyle mo, depende sa champion mo, kung anong build ang gusto mo. Gusto mo ba ng puro damage? Gusto mo ba ng wow, puro magic damage? Gusto mo maging tanky or a little bit of both or everything? It's all up to you. Kaya lang for the beginners, I'd suggest just go for whatever starting items yung recommend ng game, okay? For now, yun yung i-build nyo. And then, once you uh, get more experience sa laro, sa mga battles and stuff, dun mo makita na, ah, sa mga games pala na ganito, or pag ganito yung mga kalaban ko, dapat eto yung i-build ko and all that. So, for now, just go for the recommended items, okay? Uh, since may smite ako, jungle items yung rinerecommend sa akin. Pag bottom uh, or uh, range kayo or uh, attack damage range or uh, AD carry kayo, iba yung mga recommended sa inyo, okay? So, it really depends on your role. It really depends on your summoner spells and your runes kung anong recommend ng laro. So, just go with that. Pero pinaka-importante, uh, pinaka ultimately, you'd need wards. Buy wards! Okay, also buy the boots. Now, an interesting fact about the boots of speed. So, Wild Drift, uh, they tweak this. Dito sa LOL PC, gold standard item rin siya for mobility para bumilis yung lakad nyo or yung takbo nyo. Pero sa Wild Drift, ganun din. However, it's now an active item. Ibig sabihin, pipindutin nyo siya somewhere on the screen para magkaroon kayo ng speed boost. So, uh, for example, itong speed boost ni, uh, ni Timo. Okay, I've leveled up Timo. So, may speed boost si Timo dito. So, ito yung current speed ni Timo. Ayan, okay? Pag clinic nyo yung sp uh, speed boots <laughs> sa Wild Rift, ito mangyari. Mas bibilis siya. Parang ganyan. Di hamak, mas mabilis pa siguro. So, yun, para gets nyo. So, get those uh, boots of speed uh, as soon as possible sa Wild Rift. Next, yung pinakahihintay nyo, laning phase. Okay, we're gonna go through each lane and I'll tell you guys kung ano yung dapat yung gawin. Okay, yung bare basics or kung ano ina-expect ng bawat tao or bawat teammate nyo sa inyo. Alright, uh, we'll start with the bottom lane. Bottom lane is dragon lane. Yun na, okay? Dragon lane. Let's uh, let's uh, start labeling it properly. Dragon lane sa Wild Rift. Now, for the dragon lane, gold standard na ang maglilane dito is a ranged champion or marksman and a support or tank champion. Okay? Bakit? Eh, ganun din yung gagawin yung kabilang lane eh. Let's say, for example, ikaw mag-isa ka lang at ang uh, range champ ka, tapos yung kabilang lane may support at range. Lugi ka kasi outpoke ka. Siguro lamang ka sa experience, kaya lang pag binuli ka ng binuli, hindi ka rin makakapag-farm ng gold. Okay? If anything, gold is a lot more uh, important than experience or sa pagle-level up dito sa larong to. Kasi an item, an item will mean life and death. Okay, let's say for example, mas lamang ng item yung kalaban mo, that could spell danger 
uh, for your team. Alright, lalo na sa mga clashes. So again, you need a support right over here. Now again, gold standard lang to kay support and then ADR. Uh, you might have seen like some tournaments where there are three people in one lane. Ginagawa lang nila yun kasi confident na sila sa strategy nila as a team. Alright? May teamwork na sila, nag-training na sila araw-araw para sa ganung strat. Pero sa mga taong, may paglaro sa mga random players, lalo sa mga public matches or sa mga public queues, wag yung gagawin yun. Okay? Iba yung ina-expect ng, uh, ng teammate nyo. Unless, wala, pares kayong mga gago sa laro. But, yep. There you go, standard lane. Now, another thing to note, guys. Let's say, for example, tatlo, nag, nang gagawa kayo, nagtatlo kayo dito, tapos yung kalaban nyo, uh, isa lang dito, sobrang konti ng experience na makukuha nyo or, uh, or mapaghahatian nyo. Lalamang to, pag marunong to mag-last hit ng minion, mas lalamangan pa kayo sa gold, mas lalamangan pa kayo sa, uh, sa pag-level up. Kina mo, nag-level up na siya kayo, hindi pa, di ba? Ganun. So, see? Ang bilis. Bilis nyo naman level up kasi tatlo kayo. Tapos siya, ano, na, so parang nafa-funnel sa kanya lahat ng experience. So, lagi nyo tandaan yan. So, again, pag marunong to, he's just gonna keep last hitting the minions. Makapag-farm siya. Kayo, bahala kayo. Maghati kayo ng experience siya. Level 3 na kayo. Level 1 pa lang. Tapos wala pa kayong gold. Alright? Tandaan nyo yan. So, ano ba ang role nyo sa bottom lane? Let's say, for example, ikaw yung ADR. Ano bang role mo? Ikaw yung marksman. Sa early stages ng laro, you have to focus on getting as much gold as possible. Focus on last hitting. Focus on getting these minions, getting as much gold, and to harass your uh, opponents as much as possible and as safely as possible. Hindi yung tipong haras kayo ng haras. Kasi the thing is, ito ah, let's say for example, inatake ko tong target uh, yung champion ng kalaban, aagruhin mo yung minions ng kalaban din. Okay? Pero let's say, for example, chill-chill lang kayo dito, hindi kayo papansinin ng uh, minions unless uh, wala, na, wala ka na rin mga allied minions. Pero let's say, for example, tinamaan ko tong champion na yan, makita nyo, may parang indicator na, hey, ang ginagawa mo sa idol namin? Tapos aatakin na kayo ng minions na yan. Alright? So you have to be careful with that. So when it comes to harassing and uh, leaning, kayo na bahala dyan. Okay, so while we're here, Turuan ko na kayo kung paano mag last hit. Last hitting and killing minions is very crucial when it comes to lane control. Alright, eto. So, sa Wild Drift, may indicator kung kailan kayo mag last hit. Pero usually, pag sobrang konti na lang, like for example, eto, boom, last hit. You get more gold when you last hit an enemy minion. Gloco, may gold ka bang makukuha kung hindi nyo na last hit? Meron pa rin. Sa Wild Drift, meron. So, tingnan nyo, ganun ang mangyayari pag bobo kayo mag last hit. Alright, so kailangan tansyahin nyo talaga. Dapat alam nyo kung ilan yung damage ng champion nyo para alam nyo rin kung kailan kayo mag last hit. Pero sa Wild Drift, may indicator na so it shouldn't be any problem anymore. Alright, ewan ko kung tatanggalin nila yung indicator na yun uh, in the future patches. Pero for now, para makapag-transition yung mga tao, uh, they've added an indicator. Parang puputi yung health bar ng enemy minion pag pwede na siya i-last hit. Alright, how much gold will you get? If hindi mo na last hit yung minion, definitely lower than what you get pag na last hit mo yung minion. Probably 6 or 7, ganun. Pero um, if ma last hit mo man yung minion, you could get like 20 or 30 gold. Depende. Awan ko sa laro. So, ganun lang. You have to practice last hitting minions. Alright, sana gets you na yung last hitting. Now, here's where last hitting is very, very crucial. Minion wave control. Paano ba yan? Tinan natin na. So, right now, nag-reset yung minion waves. So, pantay dapat silang dalawa. So, medyo RNG na lang kung, uh, let's say for example, walang champion na tumitira sa mga minions. Medyo RNG na lang kung sino yung mananalong wave. But ultimately, uh, you have to know how to control the wave. Alright? Standard, gold standard pa rin yun. Kasi, depende kung asan yung wave, kung igagank kayo ng kalaban or gagank yung jungle nyo. So, what do I mean by that? Let's say, for example, ito tanda nyo, let's say, for example, gusto nyo ng gank coming from your own jungle. Paano ba natin bibigyan ng, uh, or paano ba natin i-assist yung jungle natin para makapag-gank siya dito? Ideally, yung jungle nyo, gagank yan kapag yung minion wave ng kalaban nyo nakapag-shove na papunta dito or nakapag-push na somewhere around this line. Okay? Let's say, for example, nandito na yung kalaban. Uh, ito, ito, ito. 
Ang bawa, nandito na yung kalaban. Tapos, nandito din yung minion wave. Ang bawa, jungle ako. Dito ako dadaan. Tapos, iikot ako dito. Tapos, igagang ko na dito. Eh, ba? Diba? Ganun ang mangyayari. Alright. So, same thing sa kalaban. Let's say, for example, ah, patayin muna natin lahat ng mga dummy. Okay. There you go. Let's say, for example, yung kalaban, nandito. Tapos, tayo, nandito. Oh, sino malulugi dito sa gank? ba diba tayo? So, let's say, for example, kalaban ako na jungle. Eh, eto na ako. Boom. Up. Ayan. Tapos, nandito tayo. Papasok yan dito. Iikutan kayo niyan. Kasi gagank na kayo. O, oh, diba? Ganun lang. Siguro gets nyo na. You have to control your minion. How? Uh, there's a way para uh, yung minion nyo nandito lang sa gitna. There's also a way para yung minion nyo uh, mapunta lang dun sa tower nyo. And there's also instances where you have to really shove or push yung minion wave nyo papunta sa tower ng kalaban nyo. Alright? Ano ba yung mga instances na yun? So, itong tatandaan nyo guys. Bawat minion wave pantay yan. Okay? Kung ito yung minion wave or kakalabas lang na minion wave sa kampo mo, ganun din, or ganito rin yung itsura ng minion wave na lalabas sa kampo ng kalaban nyo. Now, in order to control your lane, simple mathematics lang. Okay? Kung pantay yan, syempre kung magsasagupaan sila dito sa gitna, na sila-sila lang, most likely, pantay rin yung kalalabasan. Tignan natin. So, nakita nyo, apat yung natira sa blue. Tapos dito sa red, tatlo na lang. Ano nung makakapag-push dito ng una? Siguro gets nyo na. Si Blue. Blue team gets to go there first. Let's say for example, gusto ko i-draw yung kalaban papunta dito sa tore namin para makapag-set up ng gank. E di puro last hit, last hit lang ako. Okay? Hindi ako mag-aagro. Kasi pag ginawa ko to, lalamang yung minion wave namin. Tinan mo ha? Once I start attacking these guys or once I start getting rid of these guys, makapag-push na yung uh, minion wave namin. Okay? Wait lang. Hindi na muna ako mag-last hit. Oh, there you go. And there you go. So, na-reset yung minion. Kapunta na siya na dun. Pupush na. Ganun lang. So, the same thing applies sa kalaban mo. Yung kalaban nyo, kung gusto nila mag-set up ng gank, hindi rin sila magiging aggressive sa minion wave. Uh, minion wave nyo. Magla-last hit, last hit lang siya. Okay? Para ma-set up kayo sa gank. So, you have to be very mindful sa ginagawa rin ng kalaban nyo. Alright? Now, I'm not sure kung advanced mechanic na tong uh, minion control. Kasi dati yung naglalaro ako ng league, yung beginner pa lang ako. Wala akong pakialam sa lane control eh. As in, rat-rat rat lang ng rat-rat. Patay ng minion. Ganun yung objective eh. Gusto ko lang pumatay eh. But lately, nakita ko na rin. Uh, once I got more battle uh, experience, uh, lagi kasi ako nagagank sa lane ko. Nalaman ko, ah, kasi masyado kong pinupush yung lane ko. So, again, you have to be very mindful sa ginagawa rin ng kalaban mo kung eh, he's trying to control his lane, he's trying to uh, bait you to this side. Ganun. Alright? So, kailan ba kayo pwede maging aggressive? Obviously, kung gusto nyo na mag-push. Pero, let's say, for example, walang nangyaring gank and, and all that, pero gusto nyo mag-push or gusto nyo mag-back, eto na. Alright? There's a thing called recalling here. You can recall by pressing B dito sa LOL PC pero may recall button rin sa Wild Rift so recalling will basically teleport you back to your uh, to your base alright but once you receive damage during the recall animation maka-cancel to so you have to be very careful ang teleport lang may teleport na spell yun yung hindi na i-interrupt ng damage pero may interrupt siya ng uh, disables or mga stuns and all that so uh, let's say for example, ubus na yung mana mo, ubus na yung HP mo or low na yung HP mo and gusto mo na rin bumili ng bagong items. Uh, ang pinaka recommend recommended is you shove your minion lane forward. Bakit? Ito let's say for example, ayan. Shove ko. Lalo ako paki sa last hit basta gusto ko lang i-shove to. I just want to get my minions over there. Okay na. So Busy yung enemy champion sa pag uh, last hit sa mga minions mo, pati yung tori, ganun din. And then yung minion lane mo, nandito pa. So that gives you time to buy items and all that, and all that crap, and then run back to your minion lane. Okay? So usually, sa mga matches, pag nakapag-recall ka, na na-shove mo yung lane mo, pagbalik mo dito, yung minion lane, uh, yung minion wave na kalaban mo, siguro nandito lang or nasa gitna. Okay? Ganun. So, that means you're also resetting the minion wave for you. Ganun lang. So, 
Does it does it make sense? Basta yun. <laughs> so next, uh, gusto ko sana ipakita sa inyo yung formula when it comes to last hitting minions kapag nasa tori ka. Kasi itong tori na to, ang sakit nito. Alright, lalo na sa mga minions. So let's say for some nagla last hit ka tapos yung mga minions sa kalaban nandito, uh, you have to time it right. Okay, itatime mo sa, sa depende sa HP ng minion at sa atake ng tore. So, ang uh, pinaka-formula dito would be, uh, let's say for example, uh, eto. Eto mga mage minions na to. Eto mga long-range minions. Usually, dalawang hit lang sila sa tore. Okay, two hits lang sila sa tore. So, what happens is, pagka hit ng tore ng isa, hope to God na mapapatay mo siya sa next na auto-attack mo. Alright? Yun lang yung only chance mo. So, it's it's either you auto-attack or use a skill on that minion. Kasi yun yung last chance mo para uh, malas hit yung uh, mage minion. Now, um, siguro ang pinaka-madaling itime dito would be itong mga, what do you call this? Itong mga melee minions. This one, itong may sword and shield or whatever. Uh, kasi tatlong hit siya sa tore. So, hintayin mo muna. One, two, and then dun mo hit Alright, ganun siya. For the tower minion, or sa siege minion, uh, not so sure. Basta makita nyo na lang. M most likely, skin-skill shot ko na lang siya or ginagamitan ko siya ng skill para makuha ko yung last hit. But then, again, Wild Rift has an indicator kung kailan kayo mag magla-last hit. So, uh, I guess you don't have to worry too much about that one. Alright? So, next, uh, ito, itong mga brushes na to. Tawag namin dito sa brush. You can call it a bush, whatever. Pag nakatago ka dito, hindi ka makikita ang kalaban mo. Unless, eto na, exciting part, warding. Alright? Kung may ward ka dito, makikita mo kung may kalaban dito or wala. Ganun din. Same thing when it comes to your enemies. Let's say, for example, ito. Clear all target dummies. Uh, paano ba clear yung wards? Whatever. So, lalagyan ako ng dummy dito, ah. Yeah, spawn enemy dummy right in this freaking bush. Pag lumabas ako sa bush na yan, see? Nawala siya. Oh my god. May ganyan ba sa ML? Di ko alam. I don't know. So, paano ba mo siya makikita? You press your ward. Right over here. Put your ward there. Okay, makikita mo lang yung kalaban mo kung it's either kung nasa loob, nasa loob ka rin ng same brush or kung may ward ka dito. Now, there are skills tulad nung kay Timo, yung bomba niya, na if I put it right there, makikita mo rin yung kalaban. So, see? Mini ward. Ang galing, di ba? Kaya si Timo ang piborito kong champion. Bakit wala siya sa alpha? Kasi OP siya. Kasi pag may ganito, you know, vision is key. Alright? Information is the most important thing when it comes to any battle. Kaya lamang ang may alam. Alright? Kaya importante ang wards. Alright? Uh, ang aturuan ko na kayo paano mag wards. Okay? Pag nasa bottom lane kayo, ito, support. Anong gagawin mo sa support sa, sa bottom lane? Of course, you wanna prevent... Uh, your uh, ADR from dying, alright, with support skills and stuff. Pero isas pang major na role ng support is to make sure that you're not getting ganked by the mid or nung enemy jungle. And to do that, you have to buy wards or you have to sacrifice your wards uh, and put it in key places, alright. So, uh, paano ko pa to tanggalin? Sayang, so sana tanggalin. But, anyways, let's say for example, example lang, uh, Nakapag-shove kayo ng lane. Nakapag-push kayo dito. Lagyan ko na ng target dummy dito. Nakapag-push kayo dito sa tori na to and all that. So, you are open for an enemy gank. Pwede pumasok dito yung kalaban. Nandyan siya. Gank kayo. Ganun. So, to prevent that from happening, para makita nyo na agad na gagank, na, gagank ka na kayo, uh, put a ward right over here. So, indicated by my bomb. Kasi pag nakita nyo na yung jungle dito lumalakad, it's time to to bail. So, dito kayo dadaan sa bush. Alright? As much as possible, dito kayo dadaan sa bush. Unless may, uh, may TP yung top nyo para makapag-backup, wala kayong chance. You have to go back. Or, kung kaya nyo naman i-counter gang, why not? Right? So, ganun. Yun yung importance. Now, let's say, for example, andito yung kalaban. Okay? Nandito na yung kalaban. Sila yung nag-shove sa'yo. Uh, possible places for uh, for you to get ganked is right over here. So, dito kayo maglalagay ng ward. So, depende talaga kung asan yung position ng minion wave nyo or depende sa map awareness kung saan mo ilalagay yung ward. But, ultimately, you'd want to ward the bushes. Okay? Yung bush yung i-ward nyo. Ingatan nyo yung pag-place ng ward kasi may ibang mga tao ganito mag-ward. Boom! Sa labas ng bush. <laughs> it happens. It happens. So, practice lang. 
Okay, same thing here. Kung nandito kayo sa middle, alright, nandito kayo nagsasagupaan, ang gustong, ang gagawin ng enemy jungler dito siya dadaan. So, dapat, depende kung asan kayo, kung saan nyo kinokontrol yung, uh, yung lane nyo, dun nyo lalagay yung ward. So, see how important lane control is and laning is? Ganun lang. Okay? Sometimes, pag may mga hook yung, ka, yung kalaban nyo, let's say, for example, may blitz crank kayong kalaban or thresh, uh, you'd also want to uh, ward here or there or try to do some skill shots just to make sure na may walang kalaban dito. So, there are multiple ways on how you can check the bush. Wag lang kayo mag-face check. Don't be like this, alright? Yung mga tipong, ay, feeling ko may kalaban dito. Check ko nga. Tapos papasok sa bush. Face check ang tawag doon. Do not do that. What will happen if you do that? You die. You will definitely get wrecked. Alright, so as much as possible, kung timo ka, magbato ka ng shrooms dito, boom. And then another one, make it bounce. O, oh, diba? Safe. Or kung may skill shot ka, uh, just, just blast a skill over there, check the bush. Ganun, ganun mag-check ng bush. Okay? Do not, do not face check. Another thing na dapat alalahanin ng support, you should also... Ward the dragon pit. Okay, make sure na walang kalaban na dito. Wait lang, alisin ko nga itong auto-refresh cooldowns. There you go. So, you ward the dragon pit. Importante yan. Lalo na sa mid-game. Let's say, for example, level 6 na kayo. Uh, usually, doon na pupunta yung mga enemy jungle or yung jungle niya sa dragon lane. Ay, sa dragon pit para kunin yung dragon. So, very important. Alright? So, as long as you have wards... And you think compromised yung uh, mga objectives sa uh, bottom lane or yung mga bushes nyo, then ward it. Alright? Yun. That's all you have to worry about. Yun yung gold standard na ini-expect na mga tao when it comes to uh, support champions or players. Okay, last thing when it comes to the bottom lane. Let's say, for example, um, nalamangan na kayo ng kalaban, okay? Lamang na sila ng gold, lamang na sila sa kills, lagi kayong ginagank. So, you would want to control your minions way over here sa may tore nyo, okay? Medyo magta-tower hug muna kayo dyan para makabawi kahit, uh, kahit papano, alright? The, uh, the last thing you want to do is dumagdag pa sa kills ng kalaban. So, either ask for a gank from your jungle, make sure it's successful, or control your minion wave properly. Make sure lahat naka-ward naka dito para hindi kayo mag-gank ulit, and then rely on your tower for a bit. Okay, para makapag-recover man lang kayo. Alright? So, it all comes down to battle experience. Experience will always be the best teacher. So, yun lang. I'm just giving you guys the bare minimum or bare basics para makasurvive kayo. Alright? All Gucci? Okay, so medyo nagkagulo na dito. Nakapag-push <laughs> leads I'm gonna reset this uh, this game and then I'll explain to you guys kung anong ina-expect ng mga tao when it comes to the junglers. Speaking of junglers, Sa simula pa lang, okay? Sa simula pa lang, sa early stages ng laro, pag bottom kayo or top kayo, wag nyong aagawin ang jungle camps ng jungler nyo. Okay? Ito lang, ito lang yung pagkakakitaan nila eh. Dito lang sila makakapagkuha ng buff, dito lang sila makakapagkuha ng experience with their smite. Walang jungle items. Meron lang siya is smite. Okay? At yung smite na yun, mag evolve lang yun to a chilling or challenging smite kapag nakapag-smite siya ng apat na jungle uh, camps. So, that's one, two, three, and then meron dito tatlo rin. One, two, three. So, about the jungle camps, uh, ito mga neutral camp na to, ito mga uh, raptors and all that, uh, they don't give you a buff. Dati they do, but nowadays they don't. So, pera lang talaga at experience so para sa mga jungle, uh, junglers. Itong red buff na to, itong uh, red bramble back, whatever you call it. So, it adds true damage and slow dito sa LOL PC. So, it's probably the same thing sa Wild Rift. It also adds, uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, off combat, health regen. So, very important sa mga junglers. Lalo na pa magro-rotate na sila. Okay, do not get that! Okay? Under no circumstances. Alright? Magpaalam muna kayo sa jungler kung kukuha kayo or magdanao kayo ng buffs. Nakaw ngayon. Papaalam pa. Now, the thing about the blue buff right over here. Oh, yeah. this is These are blasting cones. Or, sorry. Blast cone. 
Itong blast cone na to, it blasts you somewhere else. Para siyang, uh, uh, what do you call this, uh, catapult or something. So, depende kung saan nyo gusto pumunta. Uh, usually, we do this in order to uh, escape. Mostly for escaping or for surprising enemy junglers na uh, nagkakalat dito sa jungle camp niya. So, for example, uh, low HP, HP na yung kalaban dito. Let's lagay tayo ng andito. Let's uh, put an enemy dummy right over here. Ayan. Let's for, for example, nag, nag, uh, nagpa-farm siya dyan. Nagnanakaw ng farm natin. Tapos, low HP na siya. And then, you go. Pa-pa-pa! And then, achu-achu! Apu! Achu-achu! Tapos, patang yan. Inan mo pa. Inaagaw mo pa yung jungler. <laughs> Parang ganun. So, ganun yung mangyari. That's how, that's what a, uh, a blast cone does. So, usually, yung blast cone nandito. Meron din, uh, sometimes, right over here, dyan. And, uh, dito. Alright. So, tandaan nyo na lang. See? See that? There you go. Also, the Scryer's Bloom. Anong ginagawa nito? It, it, it's pretty much uh, a vision thing. So, it once you attack this, it's gonna do a cone thing and then uh, reveal everything in that area. Pati yung mga hidden wards, kalaban, bombs, traps, everything. So, let's point. See? You. So, if you wanna check out the Baron Pit, ito yung pipindutin nyo. Let's say, for example, hindi kayo sure wala kayong wards dito kasi hindi kayo nag-ward. Gusto nyo makita kung may mga kalaban na nakatambay dito and all that. You do this, okay? You you attack this and reveal everything. Oh yeah, about the Blue Sentinel, mana and health regen din yata to. As far as I know, mana and health regen sa Wild Rift. Sa Wild Rift. So, yep. So, kung yung jungler, jungle champion nyo relies so much for on mana, kukunin niya agad to. Alright, there are jungle champs na hindi nagre-rely sa mana like Lee Sin and uh, kung sino pa man. So, usually pag minsan binibigay nila yan sa mid. Alright, so kanya-kanyang trip yan. Okay guys, but ultimately, do not get the jungle camps para sa mga junglers nyo in the early stages. Okay, hintayin nyo muna makaapat siyang jungle camps and then magpaalam na kayo kung gusto nyo maghihi ng jungle camp. Yun lang. Itong Rift Scuttler, I'm not sure meron ganito sa Wild Rift. Usually kasi pag pinatay mo to dito sa LOL PC, tignan natin na. Let me just freaking kill this son of a bitch. If you kill it, you get gold. And then, magkakaroon ng ward dito sa area na to. And also, it gives you a speed buff. Ito, itong area na to. It's a speed ward. And then, woo! You're fast in the river. Ganun. Okay. Hindi ko alam kung may ganito sa Wild Rift. I, I, I am not sure. I haven't seen it. Baka nakita ko and then hindi ko lang maalala. But anyways, let's put our focus on this thing. Honey fruit. Itong honey fruit na to, it will give you HP and mana region na pakonti-konti. Let's see friends ito. Kalabanin nga si Baron. Padamage tayo. Aray ko ang sakit. Ayan, aray ko ang sakit. Ah, aray ko, aray ko. Ah, ito. Yan ito. Okay. So how do I region? Ayan. Boing. And then boing, 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 boing. O, oh, diba? Ang galing. Now, here's the thing. Sa LOL PC, ang honey fruit nagsaspawn lang siya dito sa river. But, in Wild Rift, the honey fruit will spawn in your lane. Para hindi kayo masyado bumalik sa kampo nyo pa, para mag-region lang. So, ang galing, diba? So, it could spawn here. It could spawn there. Here, 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 here. Makita nyo sa alpha. <laughs> sa alpha release. Alright. So, tandaan nyo, honeycomb will be your, or honey fruit will be your friend sa wild rift. Okay? So, yep. I think I've covered pretty much everything when it comes to like the interactive uh, elements sa jungle and sa mga lanes. Except si Baron at si Rift Herald at yung dragons. I'll get to this later on once I start with the jungle role. Which I'll be doing right now. Wait lang. I have to restart the game. Kasi ang gulo na. Sobrang gulo na. <laughs> Restart ko lang asignet. Okay, we are back boys. So, this time we'll focus on the jungle rule. Now, disclaimer. Hindi ako masyado nag jungle Okay, siguro like 5% ng buong buhay ko sa League of Legends. Na, dun lang ako nakapag-try ng jungle. Pero other than that, I've, I'm not a jungle player. However, I do have uh, a basic idea of what they do. Okay, usually... Kapag, ah, dito tayo sa bot magsimula. Dito tayo, dito tayo. May something dito sa bot eh. Dito. There you go. Okay. So, usually pag jungle ka, dito sa LOL PC, you, you have to have smite. 
Kasi this is very important para mas might no para yun, puta, para may damage agad na mga malakas. Alright? Sa LOL PC, may may iba pang items like jungle items like the machete and all that shit. However, in Wild Rift, wala na yan. Walang jungle items, okay? There are no jungle items in Wild Rift. Walang ganito, walang hunter's talisman, walang hunter's whatever, wala yan. However, so Wild Rift, meron pa rin challenging smite, meron pa rin chilling smite na makukuha dito sa... Ito, ito, pakita ko sa inyo, right? Once we... Wait lang, hindi pa pala ako pwede magbuo dito. Dito. Alright, here we go. Chilling smite. So yung smite mo magiging chilling, which means it will slow down enemies. Or if you're more of a dual type na jungler pag nag go for the challenging smite kasi it will give you bonus damage towards enemies you've smite. Okay, yung champion, rather. Alright? 80 bonus through damage to champions for 4 seconds. Kaya nga siya challenging smite, diba? Not sure kung ganito pa rin yung pinaka-effect niya sa Wild Rift, pero I'm pretty sure pang ganyan pa rin. Right, so how do you do this? Kung walang jungle items, paano makukuha yung challenging smite or yung chilling smite? So Wild Rift, you have to clear 4. 4 camps. So, a camp is indicated sa monster nito. So, that's one camp. This is another camp. This is another camp. This is another camp. So, pag naka-apat kayo, pwede nyo na pagpilian kung challenging or chilling smite. I'm not sure kung pwede mo palitan siya mid-game, but tandaan nyo na lang yan, okay? Okay, next na explain ko is yung leashing, alright? Most of the time, ito yung ginagawa sa simula ng laro. So, sometimes yung jungler, wala masyado siyang pang sustain or sustain skills or medyo squishy siya. So, magpapatulong siya sa mga champions or sa mga kakampi niya sa bottom or sa top lane or dragon or baron lane. Let's say, for example, ito papunta pa lang to dito, alright, yung minion wave niyo. Usually, pagdating yung ng minion wave dito sa bandang to, magsispawn na yung uh, jungle camps. And when that happens, you have a window time para tulungan yung jungler niyo na bawasan yung... Uh, etong red buff or kung ano mang buff ang inuna niya. Okay? Hindi nyo papatayin, babawasan nyo lang siguro hanggang sa kalahati. Like, eto. Let's say, for example, nagtutulungan tayo dito and then umabot na sa HP na kalahati yung, yung red buff. Okay na yan. Umalis na kayo, balik na kayo sa lane. By that time, makakahabol na kayo dito. Na, lalakad lang kayo ulit dito, maabutan nyo pa yung uh, yung mga last hit ng mga enemy minions. Ganon. Alright? That would be very appreciated ng mga junglers niya. So, always be mindful kung maghihingi sila. Pag minsan sasabihin nila, wag na, wag na, hindi ko na kailangan na ng leash, go na. So, yep, ganun na lang. Magpapalevel up lang yung jungler niyo or magagank siya and then he's gonna take the buffs and all that until makakuha siya ng uh, chilling or challenging smite. And then sometime in the mid-game, uh, kaya niya na siguro uh, i-1v1 itong Rift Herald. Pag minsan magpapahingi rin siya ng tulong, depende. Okay, but sometimes there are junglers na kayang-kayang i-1v1 to. So, what is this Rift Herald? Very important objective din to kung kayang kunin sa early or sa mid-game. So, the Rift Herald, once you defeat this, it will spawn the Rift Herald's blessing or whatever. Pag kinuha mo yun, may empower ka yung, yung, yung recall animation mo magiging sobrang bilis pabalik and also, uh, you have the ability to spawn the Rift Herald sa lane mo and it will help you in pushing uh, the towers. Uh, Tinan natin. Let's try. Na-level up tayo. Okay. So once you attack the Rift Herald, makikita mo may mata siya sa likod. Pag nakabukas yung mata na yun, atakihin nyo sa likod and it will deal bonus damage. As you guys saw that. Alright? Ganun lang. Be mindful. Okay? Sometimes dito nyo ilalagay yung Rift Herald para hindi kayo nakikita sa pagminsan nag nag uh, nagwo-ward dito yung kalaban or pagminsan nagwo-ward yung kalaban dito. So you have to check if may ward or wala. And how do you check that using this Oracle Lens? Uh, the Oracle Lens is very important uh, when it comes to checking bushes, checking for the warding and checking if may enemy sa paligid lalo na dito sa mga walls. Uh, what do I mean by that? Ito pakita ko sa inyo, okay? Uh, I'll spawn an enemy dummy here. Obviously, hindi na natin nakikita yung enemy dami dyan, di ba? Kung saan yung pupunta yan? Gagawang puta, nakita nyo. <laughs> yan, nakita yan. Now, we have an item called Oracle Lens. Oracle le Lens will scan everything around and it will reveal hidden traps, hidden wards, and everything para maano. Uh, namatay yung referral. No, kasi magta 20 minutes na. Yeah, uh, the referral the uh, uh, spawns at a certain point. Pero mawawala siya in 20 minutes sa LOL PC and it will be replaced 
by the almighty Baron. There you go. Uh, we might have to restart this game again. Para lang. <laughs> para maano natin ulit yung referral. But anyways, uh, Oracle Le Lens, gamitin nyo. And boom! Yan, makikita nyo. Hindi nyo ma-attack yung kalaban. Hindi nyo ma-auto-attack. Pero let's say, for example, may skill shots ka. Pwede mo atakihin. Boom, boom. There you go. Ganun. Alright? It will reveal everything that's hidden around you. Okay? So, pag ward yan, pwede mo atakihin yung hidden ward or yung stealth ward. And it will destroy it. So, ganun. Be mindful. Wait lang. Balik natin si Riff Herald. Okay, here we go again. Riff Herald. Bam. 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 Patayin natin siya. Okay. Go here. Boom. And then, pag may smite ka, boom. And there you go. So, your enemy has defeated the Riff Herald. Makikita yan ng mga kalaban mo. Yung notification na yun. So, eto na. Kunin mo agad to. Marireplace yung ward mo with the Eye of the Herald. The Eye of the Herald will allow you to spawn it in your particular lane or it will also buff you up or papabilisin yung recall animation mo diba ang bilis lang and boom uh, nag bug out yung minion wave ko so hindi, hindi nyo makikita yung minion wave ko pero ito yung, mga, ito yung gagawin ng riff herald let's say for example you're pushing tapos may uh, uh, what do you call this may minion wave ka dito na nagdidestruct ng tower so you Summon the Rift Herald. Boom. There you go. And what will it do to a freaking tower? Boom. Tang inakalahati agad. Alright. It will also damage itself while doing that. So, Baron. I'm not sure at what minute mag spawn yung Baron sa Wild Rift. Probably in the 10 minute mark. We'll see. But anyways, once you defeat Baron, it's gonna give you guys the same buffs as the Rift Herald. Di mo, lang siya, di mo siya masusumon sa lane mo. But it will give you, you and your teammates the same fast recall animation. It will also give you like a bonus mana regen, uh, increased damage then. And it also it will empower your minions. Uh, what do I mean by empower the, empowering the minions? Ah, shit. I need to... Magbabag pa rin yung ano. Yung minions ko. God damn. Okay, and then smite! Dapat timingin yung smite. Pag minsan inaagaw ng kalaban na jungler yung smite eh. I mean yung, yung Baron with their smite. So if your team is going for Baron and you're not sure where the enemy team is, make sure this place is warded. I mean, sorry. Not that. Yan. Ito, itong part na to. Warded yan. Uh, make sure na warded din ito. Also, make sure warded din ang area na to. Make sure walang Sky or Scryer's Bloom yung kalaban mo. So take care of that before going for a Baron. So ang daming... Dapat gawin bago kayo mag Baron. Alright? Make sure you have all the vision you need around the Baron pit. Make sure na alam nyo kung asa yung mga kalaban nyo. Because they might steal the Baron from you and turn uh, the game around. Okay? So anyways, we have the Baron uh, buff. Indicated by the hand of Baron buff right over here. Makita nyo rin yun sa Wild Rift. Okay? Here, we hintayin natin yung minion natin. So, uh, with this, may empower nyo yung minion nyo. What do I mean by empower? Watch this. So, boom! Lalaki yung minion nyo, bibilis yung lakad nila, and they will be tanky as hell. Sobrang kunat na mga to, mamaya. And then yung damage nila, mas malakas na rin. Tingnan nyo, kahit walang gawin dito. You know? Mm -hmm. Pati yung siege minion, sobrang haba ng range niya pag naka-empower. Tipong, kahit nakatambay, uh, itong tower na to, kanya na i-1v1 yan na hindi siya natatamaan ng tower. You'll see later on. Ito, pakita ko sa inyo. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yun yung, walang namatay, oh. Oh? Walang namatay. Sa mga minions mo. So, if you, once you have the Baron buff, it's highly recommended na if you guys are ahead, you should push and end the game. You can end the game with the Baron buff. Sito, watch. Tingnan mo. Ito yung tower range, ah. See the siege minion? Boom. Kahit wala itong mga minions na ito, kaya, kaya niya yan i-1v1. Tira mo ha. Watch. Oh. Di ba? This thing can't do anything to this guy. Once na empowered siya. Now that we're done with the Baron, let's go to the other major objective, which is the Dragon Pit. Same lang din with the Baron Pit. Make sure everything's okay. Uh, before kayo mag Dragon Pit, use a Scryer's Bloom to check out if my wards ba dito or you can use an Oracle Lens to check out the Dragon Pit kung may wards or wala. If wala, uh, set things up. Make sure 
na may ward dito, meron ding ward dito, and may ward dito. Okay, depende kung saan yung kampo nyo. Alright, ward there, you can ward here, you can also ward there. Okay, very good. Make sure wala ring Scryer's Bloom yung kalaban nyo. So, pakihin nyo yan. And then, you are clear for a Baron. I mean, a, a Dragon fight. By the way, each dragon uh, has a certain type of element. Ito, Mountain Drake to ang tawag. Alright, once you defeat that, uh, you will get a certain type of buff. From what I know, check ko lang ah. Uh, Mountain Drake, pag tinalo mo siya, it will give you physical and magical resistance. Okay, it will make you tankier. Alright, uh, ano pa ba? We also have the Infernal Drake. Usually, ito yung unang nag nag ano eh, nag spawn eh, sa early stages. So, you get an Infernal Drake. The Infernal Drake, once na nakuha mo siya, it will give you uh, the opposite of uh, the Mountain Drake. Attack damage naman and uh, attack power yung bibigyan niya. So, if you want more damage, make sure you get the Infernal Drake. Next, the Cloud Drake. Cloud Drake looks like this. Puti siya. Alright, there you go. So, the Cloud Drake gives you ultimate CD reduction. So, yung cooldown ng mga last skills uh, ng ultimates nyo, bababa siya with the Cloud Drake. Alright? Should be fine. Next. Uh, lastly, the Ocean Drake. Here we go. Ito itsura niya. He's blue. So, the Ocean Drake gives you life steal. Okay, life steal naman. Not damage but life steal. Uh, meron ding Elder Dragon. However, very important to note, wala to sa Wild Rift. Etong Elder Dragon na to, wala yan sa Wild Rift. Sa LoL PC sobrang OP ng buff na to. Oh shit, mama. Oh my god, ano nangyari? No! Wait lang, uh, I'll restart the game. Elder Dragon, wala siya sa Wild Rift. However, merong Elder uh, Elemental Dragons, okay? So Imagine ninyo, ganito kalaking dragon, tapos um, yung kulay niya, kakulay ng, let's say for example, uh, cloud, cloud drake na elder dragon. Imagine ninyo, yung cloud drake na yan, mas, or sing laki lang nung elder dragon. Uh, as for the buff or yung effect na makukuha mo pag pinatay mo yung elder form ng mga elemental drakes, hindi pa namin alam. We don't have any ideas. Wala pang sinabi yung devs about it, but... Uh, for sure, merong Elder Elemental Drakes or Dragons. So, watch out for those. Okay? Yun lang. Each Elemental Dragon has an Elder form. Uh, so, I'm not sure kung kailan siya lalabas uh, in, uh, in a game. Like, pag dalawang beses po na napatay yung Dragon na yun. Or, pag na-reach na isang certain time limit, lalabas na yung mga Elder forms. We're not sure yet. Okay? Basta yun lang yung alam namin for now. Okay? Just take note of that. There you go! So all that stuff is to uh, make sure you know kung kailan magre-respawn ulit yung dragon, kailan magre-respawn ulit yung Rift Herald, ilang oras na lang natitira bago mawala yung Rift Herald and all that. Yun lang yung alalahanin mo uh, as a jungler uh, other than ganking and uh, controlling the jungle camps. Okay guys, Whew! next, let's go mid lane. Mid lane naman tayo. Ano mga gagawin ng mga mid laners? Okay, usually mid laners are mages. Sila yung mga bursty champions like Ari, like Syndra, or yung mga bruiser types na uh, may mga skill shots and all that shit. Yung mga Zed. Uh, bakit? Bakit sila nasa mid lane? Uh, they're, all, they're always considered as assassins most of, most of the time. And kaya sila nakalagay sa mid, sila yung mga pinakamalaking damage output when it comes to snowballing. So let's say for example, nakakuha na siya ng mga skills, kompleto na siya ng mga items for uh, for the time being, and then na shove niya tong lane niya papunta dito, then he is free to freaking gank your lane. So, hindi lang yung jungler yung mga gank, pati si yung mid laner niyo. He has the quickest access to both lanes. Eh. So, pag nakita niya, let's say for example, yung lane niyo na push na dito, and then nakikita niya na, oh, this should be an opportunity to gank. To gank. He shove niya tong lane niya to dito, then konwari mag recall siya. Pero yun pala papunta na siya dito sa bot lane para i-assist kayo. Okay? So, same gank approach. Dito, dito, it's all the same. Same thing with uh, the top tower, uh, top lane or yung baron lane. Ganun din, dun din siya dadaan. Okay? So, ang alalahanin mo lang rin uh, as a mid laner is 
ganks. Pwede kayong i-gank din ng kalaban. So, make sure naka-ward to. Naka-ward din uh, eto. And eto. Uh, pretty much all the bushes. Kaya lang, uh, you're only limited to like two wards uh, each time. So, presence of mind sa ma- or map awareness na lang. Kung nakita niyo yung jungler ng kalaban nyo, galing bot. Nag-gank siya dito. Uh, unsuccessful. Tapos nakita or nakita niyo nandito sa uh, bottom jungle camp. Then, mag-ward kayo dito kung sa, sa side kung saan nyo nakita yung enemy jungler. ba? Diba? Same thing here. Kung nakita nyo galing sa referral, galing sa top, hindi eh mag-ward ka dito or dito. You know? One, two. Alalalahanin mo rin. Pwede rin mag-gank yung top lane nila. Let's say, for example, siya, nakapag, na-shove ng top laner nila yung minion wave nila dito. Mawawala siya. Tapos nakita mo sa map na, uy, wala yung top lane ng kalaban. Shit, baka igang tayo. Ganun, igang ka sa mid. So, lagi mo alalahanin yun. Alright? Presence of mind, map awareness lang. Lagi. Okay? Same with bot. Pag minsan yung bot, ang kulit eh. Pag minsan pum- na, nabubor sila sa bot, pupunta sila sa mid to gank the mid lane. Tapos pupush nila to. Eh... Anything goes, pretty much. All right. So again, review lang mid laner. Make sure lamang ka sa CS dito. Focus on last setting, harassing your uh, mid lane opponent, and then uh, making sure na hindi ka magagang warding both sides, and then presence of mind. Kung makikita mo kaya mo igang din yung top or bottom lane, do so. It's all up to you. Okay, yun lang. Yeah, there you go. Yay! And finally. Top lane, my favorite lane as a team. Oh, bakit favorite lane ko sa team? Ang dali lang kasi magtanim ng bomba dito. Eh. Usually, pag team ako, dito ako tatanim, dito ako tatanim. Kasi, again, presence of mind. Ang jungler dito dadaan. So, pwede ako mag ano, dito. Pag minsan, hindi ko nalagyan dyan para mabait siya. Pag ginank ako dito, tatakbo lang ako. Let's say, for example, nandito ako nakapag-push, over-push. Papunta na yung jungler dito. Nakita ko na siya. Pumunta ako dito. And then, nahabol sila dito. Siya dadaan. Kasi it's just the quickest path towards me. So, tatapakan niya yan. Pag minsan, dito ako naglalagay. Pag sobrang overpush na ako, dito ako lalagay. Ganyan. Pinapakita ko na sa kanya yung style ko, ha. So, ganun. Alright? So, pag top laner ka, you focus on getting fat. Alright? Mag-farm ka and out fa- or out-farm or out-play your, uh, uh, your enemy top laner. So, usually, mga top laners, pwede ring mage, pwede assassin. Uh, but most of the time, uh, current meta yata is a lot of tank Tankers or bruisers would go tam- uh, top lane. Kasi usually mid or late game, ang lalakas ng power spike nila. And, yun lang. Alright? So, usually walang pakailamanan sa top eh. <laughs> Chill lang yung top most of the time. So, yun lang. Presence of mind again. Control your lanes. Control your minions. Last hits and all that. And, uh, make sure you're not getting ganked. Pag minsan, you have to worry about ganks from coming from this side din. Pag minsan may mga fiddlesticks, lalo na si fiddle, fiddlesticks or si Lee Sin, ditong hilig nila mag-gank through here. Kasi papasok sila, easy snowball ka and all that. So, again, this ward, any place you think, uh, pupunta yung jungler or yung mid ng kalaban mo. Okay? Yun! There you go! That's it! That's it for laning, guys! Hey! Ilang minuto na ba tayo nakaano? <laughs> Pag ito, magsalita! So you guys are probably wondering, paano gloko yung team fights, paano yung pag-attack, when do I uh, aggro and all that? Hindi ko yung cover yun, okay? Uh, when it comes to attacking enemies or team fights, it's all about experience, okay? Just play the game. I gave you guys the bare basics of what to do in lane, yung mga objectives and all that. It all comes down to sa synergy nyo ng teammates nyo. Uh, making sure na alam nyo kung ano yung mga skills ng kalaban nyo, alam nyo yung champions ng kalaban nyo, alam mo yung champions ng kakampi mo, and from there, uh, produce a solid plan along the way. Promise, guys, battle experience ang kailangan nyo when it comes to team fights. Manalaman nyo kung kailan kayo magbabak, kailan kayo magdi-disengage, kailan kayo mag all out. Just have fun, just play the game, try it out with all the knowledge I've given you guys so far, and it should be fine. Because here's the thing, Alright, ang binigay ko lang talaga sa inyo is bare basics ng gold standards yun. However, once you progress in the game, nakakuha kayo ng mga iba-ibang strategy, nakakuha kayo ng mga dedicated teammates, pwede kayo mag-experiment ng kahit anong mga strategy that could be effective sa Wild Rift. Malay nyo guys, yung 1-3-1 strat na ginagamit nyo sa ibang mobile games, it could work here. 
kung full stack yung party niya, para magkakakilala talaga sa party na yun. Pero I, I doubt that will work if random player lang yung mga kampi niya. Unless may communication kayong maganda. But again, I just gave you guys the gold standards sa LOL PC, which can be applied sa Wild Rift. So you guys can should work on that first, and then after that, bahala na mga experiment. Again, battle experience na talaga kailangan niyo from here on out. Okay, so uh, yep, I've covered everything. Uh, pinaka end goal again: destroy all the towers, uh, outplay your enemies, destroy the freaking nexus, and then you will get this. Ito dapat yung marinig niyo sa ending ah. Ito dapat asa na yun ha? Hmm? Dapat. Ito yung marinig niyo. Yan. Victory. Yan dapat yung goal niyo. Marinig yan sa end of the game. Hindi defeat. Alright. There you go. That's it for the basics of League of Legends, Summoner's Rift, Wild Rift, whatever. Now, uh, next I'm gonna cover is yung champions and runes and yung spells. Okay, dito na papasok. Ano ba, Gloco? Ano bang champion yung pwede kong gamitin as a beginner? Sino ba? Gusto ko kasi tank. Gusto kasi range ako. Gusto kasi mage ako. Sino ba? Lalo na sa alpha. Sa alpha test, 36 champions lang yung pwede gamitin. So, I'll go through that uh, one by one. Okay? Wait lang. Ah, pagod na ako magsalita. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So, sino ba yung champion na dapat yung piliin? Naroon sa mga beginners. Now, for the alpha test, we only get to choose uh, from 36 confirmed champions. Yun lang. 36 champions. Kung anong nakikita nyo sa screen nyo, yun lang. Obviously, wala si Timo, which is nangkakagalit para sa akin. Hindi lang, hindi lang halata, pero galit ako kasi wala si Timo. But, there you go. You guys have 36 champions. Uh, medyo nakakategorize na rin dito kung ano yung mga roles nila. So, uh, I'll go through each role and then sasabihin ko sa inyo kung sino yung recommended ko para sa mga beginners. Alright? Let's start with the ADR or the marksman. So, ADR. Uunahin natin, okay? Kita niya to ADR. So, sino yung recommend ko uh, for beginners. So currently, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. 7 marksmen, kasama si Graves. Okay. But for beginners, ang recommend ko lang would be Ash. Ash is very, very easy to use. Actually, ito siya yung pinakauna kong marksman na ginamit. Uh, she, ha she bears similarities with other uh, heroes or characters from other MOBA games. Kung familiar kayo kay Mirana, uh, may ano siya, may Jumong siya. <laughs> okay, may ganun siya. And then may Scatter Arrow siya and all that. If you want to know more about the skills of a certain champion, download yun yung Garena, lol. And then, uh, wait lang, pakita ko sa So, go to your collection or whatever sa store and then search for Ash. Ito si Ash. And then, if you want to know about her skills, punta kayo sa abilities. And then, ayan. Diba? Ito yung Jumong niya na sinasabi ko. Boom! And then, it stuns them. Yan, pwede mo na i-control sa mobile, sa Wild Rift. Okay? Ganun. Alright? So, going back to the champion. So, yan yung recommend ko si Ash para masanay kayo. Next would be Jin. Si Jin naman, he's more of like a run and gun ADR. Kung gusto mo yung parang poke-poke lang, Jin, very easy to use. Just may tanim din siya, may parang bomba rin siya tulad ni Timo that uh, explodes on a certain amount of time. And then my personal favorite, my baby girl Jinx. Jinx is very versatile. Balance siya. Kung si Ash, Ash is more of like a snowball type ADR. Pag, na, pag may nastun na siya, he's, she sets up for a team fight, all out na yan. Si Jin, uh, more of a run and gun lang siya. Okay, poke, then takbo, poke, takbo, and then snipe from afar. Si Jinx is like a combination of both. Okay, uh, balance na balance siya. She can either be uh, run and gun or a snowball type uh, ADR. May traps siya, may, uh, may rocket, may global ult siya na rocket. Hindi ko nga alam kung makakontrol mo yung rocket ni Jinx eh. Yun yung gusto ko malaman. Alright, may parang global ult din siya. Parang, parang arrow lang rin ni Ash, but it's a rocket that explodes. It deals a lot of damage, lalo na pag may, uh, konti yung buhay ng kalaban. So yep, etong tatlong to are the top three uh, recommended champions for beginners. Si Vayne, tapos si Misfortune, I'm not sure. Si Misfortune baka pwede pa, but I've never used her. Si Vayne din, nagamit ko siya once, and I don't like her playstyle, so ayoko. Uh, si Ezreal then because I don't like him personally. <laughs> si Graves pwede rin, but he's more suited for the jungle nowadays dahil dun sa ano niya, rework niya. So, ayun. 
if ever man available si Timo, yun. Yun yung pinaka-recommend ko, si Timo. Kahit anong lane pa yan si Timo, tayo na kahit i-jungle mo yan. Timo. Timo lang. So, are we good? Are we good for the ADR? Alright, let's move on to the jungle. Okay, jungle naman tayo. For jungle, hindi ako jungle player ah. But, if you really wanna practice jungling, pinakamadaling gamitin will be mastery. Mastery is so easy to use. Kasi when it comes to jungling, uh, you should consider yung skill and yung cooldowns ng skills na yun. Right? Master Yi has uh, pretty quick cooldowns when, uh, when it comes to his skills. It's may sustain pa siya, may heal pa siyang sarili. So he's perfect for the jungle. My yung ult niya, my dash para quick ganks and all that. And my alpha siya for AoE. He's, he's a pretty good all-around jungle. So you guys should practice with Master Yi. A lot of people also use uh, Jax. Si Jax madali lang rin. Uh, konti lang rin pipindutin mo compared to Yi, I think. And he, he really hurts. He, he hurts a lot. <laughs> Actually, sobrang sakit niya. Other than that, yeah. Ito lang recommend ko for beginners. Since Xiao never used him. Si Vi. Per personal favorite ko si Vi. So, I'll, I'll give her a green square. Para lang, ano, <laughs> masignify na favorite ko siya. Uh, parang sing easy lang siya ni Jax in a way. However, you have to time some things a lot. So, ayun, itong tatlo. Okay? But itong dalawa, uh, if you really want a lot of damage, go for Yi or Jax. Alright? Yun. Jungle. Okay, next up, mid laner. Sino ba yung mga madadaling gamitin na mid laner? So, I would personally recommend Lux. Sobrang daling gamitin ni Lux. She can also be a good support. Uh, my stun siya, I mean, ano, my, what do you call this? My skill shot siya, that burst AOE, and then my global ult din siya. Yung ult niya sa LOL, hindi global, pero sa Wild Rift, global. Okay, isipin nyo, Kamehami Wave, global na Kamehami Wave, boom! Ganun ka, lala yung SS niya ngayon sa Wild Rift. So, she's very easy to use. My barrier siya, my shield siya na binibigay sa mga kampi niya. Uh, she can uh, uh, snare or trap enemies. So, Good all-around champion, si, si Lux. Alright, very easy to use. Si Annie naman, if you really want to go for a very bursty, uh, snowball-y champion, si Annie, nag-usaw mo siya ng bear. She has stuns. May sarili siyang mana shield and all that. She hurts a lot. So, Annie and Lux ang ata eh. Yeah, Annie and Lux. Yup, Annie and Lux. Yun lang. Mid lane, Annie and Lux. Si Ari naman, maganda siya. However, uh, I think... It's more for seasoned players or for people who have battle experience. Si Ari kasi marami siyang pipindutin. Uh, she's very mobile. She does this dash thing with her ult. So, ayun. I wouldn't recommend her to a beginner. But she's pretty though. So, ayun lang. Si Lux and si Annie lang yung recommend ko for beginners for now. Next, top laner. Alright, top lane. Pinakamadaling gamitin at pinaka-OP would be Nasus. Seriosa. You just have to stack... Just have to freaking stack. Mag farm ka lang ng minions, and then by the late game, sobrang lakas mo. Na. Ewan na lang. Well, uh, mahirap i-counter to si Nasus eh, pag late game. Uh, kung may Timo lang sana, madali lang. But since wala si Timo, whoo, ayahay siya ngayon. So, if you guys wanna uh, practice last hitting without worrying that much, Nasus. Uh, isa pa si Garen. Garen's pretty much a run, run and gun din na top laner. Very tanky, may sustain din siya. Very easy to use. Konti lang rin pipindutin mo. And then he has an execute. Very easy to use. Okay. Sino pa pa pwede gamitin yung top lane? Uh, you might ask, but hindi si Yasuo? I mean, he can be a mid laner. Pwede siyang top laner. Kaya lang... No. Wag, wag ka mag-Yasuo. Okay? Kahit, no. Don't. don't. Saka ka na mag-Yasuo. Gets mo na yung laro. Okay? Yun lang. Yun lang. Pati Zed. Lalo na itong, itong, itong dalawa kasi super cool gamitin eh. Aminin ko, sobrang cool nila gamitin, ang saya nila gamitin, but uh, it will only suck if you don't know what how to use them properly. Pag uh, sobrang beginner ka pa at wala ka pa masyadong map awareness, wala pa masyadong uh, galaw when it comes to like pressing buttons and stuff. So do not, do not go for Zed and Yasuo just yet. Okay, so ito lang recommend ko. Oh yeah, pwede rin si Yi. If I di mo trip mag jungle with Yi but you wanna use Yi, you can use him on top lane. He should be fine. All good. So, yep, that's it. Ito lang, itong tatlong, tatlong to. Okay, next, support tank. 
Now, sa mga support players dyan, you can either go for a tanky champion or for a mage champion. Usually, pag uh, support tank ka, initiator ka, and uh, you make sure that you're taking damage for your uh, ADR. Okay? Poprotectan mo yung ADR, you're also gonna initiate uh, team clashes. So, ayun. Ikaw, basta tank. What tanks do? <laughs> so, for beginners, pinaka-recommend ko would be eto ito magkatabing to si Alistar and si uh, no wait no 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 si Alistar Alistar uh, may heal siya may pang-initiate siya uh, may parang dash siya para ma ma-knock up yung kalaban and then uh, pag hinahabol yung ADR mo you can pwede mong suwagin yung kalaban para palayo ganun so very easy to use konti lang rin yung buttons na pipindutin now for my personal favorite Brom Brom is awesome. Look at his mustache. And uh, my shield siya. Yung shield na yun can pretty much block any trajectories or skill shots na papunta sa shield or sa ADR mo. So as long as you keep that shield up, you should be fine. Your ADR should be fine. Uh, it, negates a lot, it negates a lot of damage. Yung ult niya, parang fissure ni, uh, ni Earthshaker. It creates like a fissure of ice and then it slows down everyone there. And then it knocks up the one uh, sa dulo. It's good for initiating, it's good for disengaging, depende sa, sa trip mo. He's basically the shield hero. Okay, kung Overwatch ka, player ka, siya yung Reinhardt and all that, he's awesome. Okay, go for Brom, kung gusto niya. Okay, Malphite is okay, but he's more of like a snowball champion. Wala, siya, wala, wala masyado siyang pang support eh. He, he doesn't heal you, he doesn't give you shields or anything. But pwede pa rin siyang support tank. But you have to pair him up with a snowball ADR like Ash or or Ezreal or Misfortune. So nakadependent uh, naka rin sa synergy mo with the marksman champion. Okay, yun lang. So yep, Alistar and Brom yun yung pinaka recommended ko. Now for the support mage. Na uh, maraming babae mahilig sa mga support mage because they look so pretty. Pero ang pinaka favorite ko would be Soraka. There you go. Soraka is basically the healing champion. Uh, when it comes, no one can out heal her. Yung ult niya will heal everyone in the map. I mean, yung mga allies niya. Uh, also, may dedicated healing power siya or skill siya para sa mga uh, sa kakampi niya. She has a uh, silence thingy, AOE. So, she's pretty cool. May damage, masakit din yung damage niya, yung falling star thingy. So, Soraka is very easy to use. Next would be Lux. Again, uh, ang mabisa kay Lux, may mga pang-disable siya, may shield siya, she has a snare, may pang-slow. Uh, yung skill niya, pwede rin pang-check ng bushes and all that. So, yun. Ito yung pinakamadaling gamitin. Some would say Janna and Nami as well, pero hindi ko pa siya nagagamit yung dalawang to. But, yeah, just give it a half square para i-consider nyo. Okay? Yun lang. These are the two I would recommend for beginners when it comes to support mages. Now, kung Dota player ka at mahilig kang mang hook tulad ni Trinil, go for Blitzcrank. Yun lang. Ito yung pudge sa larong to. Na lang. Gusto ko share. <laughs> so, we are done with the champions. Next, yung runes. Kasi may ganito sa Wild Rift din. Now, the runes are free. So Wild Rift, you don't have to like buy it or anything, so that's good. Pati yung mga champions, uh, pwede mong pag-ipunan siya sa Wild Rift, you don't have to buy it. Uh, you know, you're not forced to buy like Riot Points just to get your champion. Makukuha mo siya, alright? So, here we go. Uh, introduction lang sa runes. Runes will give you like bonus uh, effects sa mga, uh, sa mga skills mo. Sa mga auto attacks mo, it could even give you like uh, more attack speed, more movement speed, and all that uh, tankiness, health, you name it. Depende sa runes mo. Siguro ang tandaan nyo na lang, pag sorcery, gagamitin nyo to pag mage kayo. Pag domination, you use this as a jungler, uh, pati sa mga mages or sa mga bruisers. Itong precision, uh, it's more for the ADRs yung mga attack damage range or mga marksman natin and uh, itong resolve naman is for the champions that would make use of their tankiness uh, and pati, pati na rin sa mga tanky supports and the inspiration ganun din more for supports din siya but I don't really use this that much kasi yung sorcery pwede rin sa ano eh pwede rin to sa mga support uh, mages eh so again it really depends on kung anong trip mo kung anong playstyle mo dun mo I, uh, ibabase yung mga runes mo. Alright? 
So, yun lang. That's all you need to do, uh, to know. Next, yung spells. Alright? Kanina, uh, ang gamit ko lang was smite. You guys know what smite is. Now, this is ghost. Alright? It gives you uh, increased speed. And then, habang nag-sprint ka, pabilis ka ng pabilis. Alright? Very, very important for junglers or uh, sa mga early or early levels. Uh, maganda siya for chasing down enemies or disengaging or for kiting. Ikaw bahala. Next, yung heal. Yan. Pakita na lang. Boom. It heals you and other uh, allies around you. Okay? Dapat malapit sila. Now, uh, pag nag-heal kayo, yung mga healing na makukuha nyo from other sources, ihina siya. Okay? So, recommended, wag, yung, baka yung iba dyan... Uh, sa isang team, puro kayo may heal. No, that's not recommended. At least, sa sana isa or dalawa lang sa inyo may heal. Tapos, magkaibang lane pa. Kasi, pag nag-heal yung isa, let's say, for example, si Jinx nag-heal, tapos, sumunod ng heal is si, si Thresh. Mahina na yung heal ni Thresh. Hindi nag-stack yun ng maganda. So, ayan. Next, barrier gives you a shield. Yan. Yan. Boom. So, self-explanatory. Exhaust. Uh, it's for running down uh, a champion. Again, bababa yung damage niya, hihina siya, magsaslow siya. So, maganda for ganks or for setting up ganks. Next, clarity naman. Uh, wala masyadong gumagamit ito, but if kap- mahilig ka mag-cast ng mga skills mo at makakapos ka ng mana, go for clarity. Uh, itong mark, wala to pang special game mode na to. Flash is one of the handiest skills. Yun, you just flash through... Uh, uh, a barricade or an obstacle or anywhere so instant instant yun right pero hindi yun mas, ma, uh, para siyang blink dagger pero sobrang kiliti lang na blink dagger siya alright next teleport ito yung sinasabi ko recall na mabilis or you can teleport anywhere pati sa mga minions sa towers sa structures and it cannot be interrupted unless mas stun mo yung nagta teleport or ma disable mo pero if you damage them uh, wala. Na, it, it won't happen. Matutuloy pa rin yung teleport. So, either you kill them or you stun them para mag-cancel yung teleport. Cleanse, on the other hand, let's say, for example, na-stun mo, yan, na-stun, use cleanse para mawala yung mga disables and slows. Okay? Ignite, uh, it's more for snowballing. If you're sure mapapatay mo yung kalaban with a combo or anything, ito yung pang-sureball na mapa- makapagpatay sa kanila. Uh, it decreases the healing na sa na-ignite mo so kahit mag sila konti, ka, kakiliti lang yung mga kuha nilang heal so use this if you wanna execute yun, parang konting konti na lang yung buhay nila or if you wanna prevent them from healing alright so lalo na pag may sura ka sa kalaban mo or may mga healing items yung or skills yung kalaban mo make sure you get ignite alright it also works on uh, lifesteal enemies and lastly smite alam nyo na yan okay, it's for uh, finishing off for killing jungle minions or uh, neutral camps. Yun lang. That's all. That's all you guys need to know. Pagod na ako magsalita. Grabe kanina. Pag 2 hours na ako nag-record. <laughs> oh yeah. Take note. Dalawa lang yung summoner spells na pwede nyong gamitin per game. Okay? So, usually ang, ko, ang ginagamit ko is flash and then ignite. Let's say for example, I'm feeling aggressive. Flash, ignite lang yung uh, gagamitin ko. If... Uh, nakita ko mas masakit yung kalaban ko or ma- may kalin ko uh, based from the drafting magbabarrier ako so kanya-kanyang ano kung gusto mo maging uh, what do you call this yung map presence mo mas malakas go for teleport para makapag backup ka agad dun sa bot or kung asaan man lane or mag split push ka teleport and all that so kanya-kanyang trip depende talaga sa champion mo depende sa playstyle mo and how to counter your uh, uh, your enemy yun, doon mo ibabase kung anong spell yung gagamitin mo for that game. Alright? Ah, pagod na akong sarita. So there you go guys, that's my survival guide for beginners and newbies. Sana may naintindihan kayo or sana naintindihan nyo ako. <laughs> ah, pinakapagod. But again, I hope I help. And if you guys are still confused with some things, let me know in the comment section or you guys can do your own research. Again, bare minimum lang tong binigay ko sa inyo. Okay, pinaka basics of the basics para hindi kayo masabihang bobo pag nag uh, nakapag, pag naglaro na kayo ng Wild Rift. Okay? Whatever I said here, isupplement nyo ng sarili nyong research. 
try League PC, watch videos kung paano yung play sa mga champions na uh, sa tingin nyo gagamitin nyo for Wild Rift. Okay? Yun lang. So just to remind you guys, the alpha test of Wild Rift comes out on June 6. So sa mga napalaran dyan na nabigyan ng code or access, kita-kits na lang sa Rift. Go easy on me. Wala akong team mo. So looking looky ako. Bad trip. But other than that, I hope you guys uh, have a lot of fun. And also guys, please, pag lumabas na yung Wild Rift, be brutally honest with your opinions and with your suggestions and questions about the game para masabi namin sa Riot development team ng Wild Rift, okay? Sisiguraduhin namin na kahit anong feedback nyo makakarating sa kanila para, you know, we can finally, you know, beat that other MOBA game na sumikat dito sa Pinas. <laughs> yeah, I am fueled with spite. But other than that, lalo sa mga ML players dyan, sa mga Dota players dyan na interesado or sa mga AOV, whatever, kung newbie ka, you wanna play Wild Rift, Please, go and play Wild Rift. Spread the word. You guys are welcome. I will welcome you with open arms, alright? Let's do this. Pasikatin natin yung Wild Rift, alright? Pasikatin natin para mawala na yung isa. <laughs>